Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another completed Auto World series video. And this time we've got uh, Premium Series or Premium Series Release 3 uh, from 2019. So last year, 2019. And we're going to start with this 1964 Plymouth Barracuda, even though it's number six in the series, because this is the last ones that I have carded. And we need to get them open. So, pretty cool series. Six car set, as usual, from Auto World. You're going to have a version A, a version B, and then a chase version of the vehicle that could be found on either a version A or B uh, card. All right, but it's the same car. All right. So, let's go ahead and take a look first at this version A 1964 Plymouth Barracuda. Limited to 5,500 pieces in this gloss white or looks like ww1 8358 white it would be like the paint code and here it is let's go ahead and zoom into it so it looks pretty good um not my favorite auto world casting if i'm honest it's kind of an oddball car we've seen it quite a few times there's a ton of different variations of this car that have been out so far uh, it's been used quite a bit so the most notable release of this was like the uh, color swatch release, which had a hobby ex hobby exclusive, and it was also released in a regular store bought series. But it had the different colors, all the different factory colors from the car lined up on one car. That was a really cool, unique release. But uh, other than that, it's had some pretty basic releases. This one looks pretty good with the blue line tires, decent looking rims there. Blue interior, blue stripe across the top, white, gloss white body, nice engine detail there. It's a nice casting, it's just not my favorite car. Oh, it looks kind of cool though. So here it is in white, looking pretty good. And then version B, which is also limited to 5,500 pieces, of course, is in ruby. There's the pink code there. Uh, super cool that they use like the factory colors and stuff like that for Auto World. It's just fantastic. Here it is. This one looks much cooler, I think, because of the wheels. Wheels definitely make a difference. And uh, for this car as well. This one's got a uh, white stripe, red interior, red body. Those nice wheels look really, really cool. It looks like Firestone tires. Definitely would prefer to drive this car over the white one. I think it looks pretty good in red. I don't think it's the first time it's been put out in red, though. I think it's been put out in red before, but um, not with these tires. I think this is the first time it's ever come out with these uh, this rim tire set. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks pretty good. As far as I'm concerned, except for the color swatch version, this is probably my favorite version so far of this car. This tire over here could use a little bit of help getting back on the rim perfectly, but uh, the others look real good. Like the tread pattern on the tires, you can kind of see it from the profile. I don't know, that's pretty awesome. So, there's that, these two, and then we've got, of course, the Ultra Red Chase car. So here it is. So 5,500 on the normal releases, that making makes the Ultra Reds limited to uh, 330 pieces. So this one is on the version A card, but as I've explained many, many times, it does not matter what the card is for the store releases. Sometimes the hobby exclusive releases it will matter, but not for the store releases. It's not going to matter whether you find it on a version A card or a version B card. It's going to be the same car. So what are the traits for the Ultra Reds in this release? I've got an Ultra Red base ultra red body and a white interior other than that the graphic on the car whatever other traits of the car is going to follow the version a car which is why this one has the blue striping that's why it's got the blue line tires the same wheels 
and of course the same plate if they differ the plate. Sometimes they do make the plate different between version A and version B. In this case, uh, they have not, but uh, but you can tell that it's definitely the version A traits. You know, the most obvious part would be that blue stripe, and then of course the the wheels and tires as well. So pretty cool. Looks like a nice looking ultra red there. Ooh, look at that. The motor is white as well. I don't know if that is the case with all of these, and I don't think I ever really checked that out. So I don't know if that's just a one-off with this one, but I guess we shall find out as we go along here. But the motor is just plain white on the inside of this car. Hmm. That is definitely interesting and not something I knew yet so let's check that out as we go through these cars we're going to have to definitely open up all the ultra red hoods now because and check it out all right so the next car we'll take a quick look at is this one right here now I just did a free the peace Friday episode on this Dodge Phoenix 1961 Dodge Phoenix this is it in spring green for version a again this one's going to be limited to the 5500 uh, pieces uh, for the regular release car, the version A car, um, might as well pop the hood open. Okay. The engine detail on this car is pretty cool. Uh, this is definitely a really cool release of this. If you want to check out that other episode, I definitely recommend you go back to my Free the Peace Friday episode for this Dodge Phoenix, this Auto World Phoenix, where I go through every single release so far of the Phoenix. Uh, this version B one is just so awesome. So these ones actually have different plates, and they look quite different from each other. I love when they do this, when they do the version A and the version B car, like same casting, but actually a lot more is different than just the color of the car. Um, love when they do that, and they do that actually quite a bit in this particular uh, release. Uh, they don't always do that. So they did it with the uh, <clears throat> Plymouth Barracuda, of course, as you had different like wheels not just a paint difference it was different wheels as well it made it look a lot different and they did it with this one too different color interior it's all black blacked out rims uh and i just think that looks this thing looks so mean and awesome it's one of my favorite releases actually it's just grown on me so much i think it's very very cool and so here that is and then of course the ultra red which i don't know if i ever opened up the hood on this ultra red and we're going to have to now. So ultra red base, ultra red body, white interior, and, and, oh yeah, oh yeah, white. The, not the whole motor is not white, but the majority of it is. And just to show you that that compares. Got black in there. So that's pretty cool. This is limited to 330 pieces. And of course, as you can see, it's got the traits from the version A car. Easiest one to tell, of course, is the wheels. And then the plate matches as well. That is so cool. I did not know that. So, all right, moving on. Chevy Kingswood Estate, a fan favorite. Everybody loves the Auto World wagons, and why wouldn't you? They're awesome. So here's the version A car, Woody. Bow tie on the on the wheels there. Looks good. Let's see if we can get that hood open real quick. So you can see the motor. There it is. I'm just going to leave that hood open for a moment. So this is version A, of course, limited to 5,500 pieces. As most of this release is, there was only one car in this release that was available in a hobby dealer straight pack. This is the version B car, which looks very different from the version A car. Love the wheels on it. Love the flat black. Just looks mean. Look at that thing. Should open up the hood on this one. I don't think there's going to be any difference, but we'll do it anyway. And there isn't. The plate will probably be the same too, because there's enough differentiation in the uh, 
the car. This is why I don't like opening hoods though. It's because sometimes they just don't want to close back the way that they were. Eventually with enough monkeying around with that, I will be able to get it to close. But this thing just looks awesome. So obviously the version B car is my favorite. And that's kind of that kind of takes the trend to be honest with this whole entire series is the version B car has been kind of cooler looking in my opinion than the version A car in this particular series and then here's the ultra red so the ultra red of course goes after the version A car so that's what made this one the tricky release which they also seem to do that somewhat often is they will put it in a red car that people will confuse as the ultra red and this was the one in this release because here's the ultra red and at like first glance i mean i know you should be able to tell here that the paint is quite different on the ultra red release and then of course it's got the ultra red base which isn't necessarily easy to see in the packaging that has the boxes because you can't look underneath the car but it also has the white interior and then i guess what we're going to see under here is going to be a white motor and there it is <laughs> that's cool Definitely dig that over having the red or white tires, which they have done in the past. But there is your Kingswood Estate release and a very cool release. This might the between this car and this car, and actually there's one more coming up here too for version B. These just look so mean. I mean that is a great pair of cars. So very very awesome all right next casting to take a peek at is the mercury comet cyclone gt this is in gloss black this is the version a looks really nice in gloss black i love the red line details we got cyclone there on the license plate again limited to 5500 pieces I don't want to open up the hood really beyond that because it's kind of tough there. So we're going to leave it as is. Very cool. And then, of course, version B. And version B looks meaner than version A. This thing is actually really awesome. And it's got, ooh, Haley's on the uh, plate instead of Cyclone. So Haley's Comet, that's, that's awesome. The wheels are great, BF Goodrich tires, and black interior. Uh, yeah, this one is definitely the winner of the two to me. And again, this, these version Bs. There we go, now I can look at the motor. There it is, silver. Just awesome looking. This is Ember Glow Poly. It's a really unique color, and I'm pretty sure hasn't been used on any auto world car previous to this so just a very very cool piece a um, couple of cool things maybe I'll try to do on Lamley on the Lamley blog maybe would be black auto world cars I think are a cool one to feature and the other one cool one to feature is like your more modified muscle muscly looking cars that don't necessarily look all you know straight stock even though this is probably is for stock options or whatever or optional add-ons for the car but like the mean looking ones I think would be a cool feature so pretty cool there's a little flashing on this tire not a big deal uh, but then of course we're gonna go look at the ultra red now the ultra red follows the version a cars I wish the ultra reds in this series would follow the version B cars first for traits I think they would have looked a little bit better but still can't complain we've got the ultra red base of course ultra red body white interior uh oh this one this one does not have a white motor uh-huh so that is interesting so so far we have three cars with white under the hood and this one we do not get that it's still the same silver motor tooling so that's a little weird definitely a little weird so it's got cyclone 
So it's got the version A, of course, the version A plate. It's got the version A, you know, wheels and tires and the red stripe. Actually, you can see the regular red stripe, even though it's ultra painted other than that. Um, yeah, so interesting, though, that there is no white under the hood. Because I thought we would definitely see that on this car, and we did not. So let's see now. So the first three cars in the series that we saw, the first three that we looked at had it. Four, actually. No, three. First three. All right. Well, anyway, let's take a look at this uh, Mustang. So this is this was the only one that was available. These Mustangs were the only ones that were available in straight packs. So they're not as limited. They're limited to 6,700 pieces instead of 5,500. This was version A in your classic cornflower blue golf livery one of the few modern toolings from auto world there's a look at the motor on this one okay, there is wine under there but not the not the full motor well, it's gonna be interesting we're definitely gonna have to peek under the hood of the ultra red so 6700 pieces Here's version B, which I think actually looks a lot cooler in the dark blue with orange, mainly because of the wheels. I really like the wheels on this one, the little orange lip on the rims. I think it looks fantastic. Um, just a great looking release for this car. Absolutely nice. I just really, really dig it. I think it looks cool. And then we shall take a look at the Ultra Red. So the Ultra Red is limited to 402 pieces. There's your Ultra Red base, Ultra Red body, white interior, and white motor. And there it is. So why the heck does the Mercury not have a white motor? It's like I almost want to look under there again. Are you sure that's not white? Yeah, that's painted silver, all right. Odd. I wonder if some of them have the white motor and some of them don't. I wonder if that's like an error or something. or Just probably some issue in production where they just didn't do it for that one car for whatever reason. But yeah, these have white motors. So yeah, again, limited to 402 pieces, so pretty, pretty limited. And definitely awesome. So, and again, it takes the the version A traits, which is why you got the big golf logo on the side, which you don't on version B. And again, I think it would have looked better if they would have done version B, but still can't complain. Looks pretty awesome. All right. And then lastly, this is a car I just opened in my last diecast weekly episode, and I think we looked under the hood of this. So let's check this out though again though, and see if I missed something. So here is the version A. In DY3 cream. Okay, just look at the motor. Red interior, uh, red stripe in the back. It looks pretty good. And then the version B, this is one where I think the version A car actually looks better. I think the, I like this cream color car, I think a little bit better than this blue one. Blue one's just a little basic. It's a nice blue poly color. It's got a black interior. I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. Are the plates the same in these? No, this one's 101, this one's 446. So, peeking in the motor, that's what that looks like. And then let's just get to it here. What is this one? So the Ultra Red, of course, again, this one's going to be like your regular production. So this one's limited to uh, 330 pieces. Takes the version A traits. Of course, you got that red stripe on the back. It says 101 on the plate. You got the white interior. You got the ultra red base, ultra red body, and not a white motor. So weird. Really weird. Um, normally, the traits are very consistent across the release. We have two cars in this release that were not given the white engine treatment, which is to me strange so I, I i wonder hopefully um i am friends on facebook with a designer from auto world mike uh hopefully he watches this video and then maybe follows up with some sort of explanation on my facebook page on my champion djk facebook tells me what happened there um why did why did this car and this one these ultra reds did not get a white motor and the rest of the ultra reds did get white underneath there 
which is strange. I don't know why. So if I had to pick a favorite car from this release, honestly, it's that. Um, I think that one looks awesome. It's hard not to say it's this because it's very, very cool. But they did release this car in like a black. It was a gloss black, but it was a really awesome uh, version of it, a hobby exclusive version. But that is really cool. So I really like that one. I really like this one too. These three, I think, are probably the winners from the set. Um, you know, the Golf Mustangs are really cool too. It's just a really nice set, actually. And it doesn't have any of the trucks, any of the new trucks, and it's the first set since the trucks have come out that didn't, that didn't have them, as far as I know. So it's the last set in recent that uh, has not had any truck in it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, really cool set from Auto World. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like these videos, please check out the Auto World playlist. As I complete the series, which means I have to get all the Ultra Reds, uh, once I do that, I go ahead and make a video, and I've done it for the majority of all of, you know, the, the Auto World series. So check out the video. Check out the other videos. Um, hopefully you enjoy them. Thank you very much. Have a good day.